Oh my god, it's so big. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a super strange mining case. Uh, this, I can't even remember, uh, something like Digital Ocean or something is where this originally served. But Nerd Gears wholesaled these things, and I bought one back when they were 200 bucks. Now they're 149 and if you use my link down in the description, it'll actually be 139 Shipped, no taxes. And they take crypto if you want. Anyway, this bad boy is a 13 GPU case. It uses an ATX motherboard and up to three ATX power supplies. You can see it has an ATX motherboard tray there. I did just throw a B250 mining expert shield in there. And this particular one, sorry, came with a mining expert for, I think, gigs of RAM and a 3900, I think. So anyway, we'll throw that in there. It also came with 13 risers and a couple of fan hubs. So that's kind of nice. Reasonable eight cap risers, pretty happy with it. Anyway, I'm gonna throw the board in here and then I'm actually gonna go get an older P106 rig that I still have assembled. And I'm just gonna throw all that crap in here just to see how it works, I guess. And if it's good and the thermals are reasonable with these relatively low speed Arctic fans, name brand though, happy about that. Excuse me, happy about that. Uh, maybe I'll consider actually using this. Uh, downside though, for sure, this is the only means of affixing GPUs. So they will probably sag pretty good unless you have really lightweight cards with backplates that tie into the PCIe slot. So I would say that this is very much a horizontal orientation only case. If you like to have your server cases vertical, you're probably SOL with this case. So keep that in mind. However, it does fit 13 cards and it looks like it fits beefy boys. Like I'll chuck an FTW3 in there too, just so you can see how the width looks. But man, she's, she's a chunky old girl, you know? All right, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to need a second PSU. It's in there right now, but I may elect to take this back out. Uh, I've got a 1300 G3 or G plus or something in here because I don't care. Uh, hilariously enough, the ATX sized sheet thingy, IO shield hole, doesn't line up at all with the included motherboard tray. So it fits fine if you take out the shield, but okay. Goodness, man, even with double splitters, this is taking so many connectors. And those bit cap splitters are nasty too. So I've got uh, two more 3070s on the main power supply, and then we're gonna run the rest of the cards. I think they're all CMPs on the 1000. So yeah, it works, but you need a lot of splitters or you need three big boy power supplies for sure. Well, if you're trying to install these in order, you are out of luck. It's okay until about card 11, 12, maybe 13, boy, that, that is stretched tight. I am running them in order on the Expert, and I'm trying to not blow the ports out of it, so I don't know, but my overall thought is maybe, but only if you've got like 1660s or 1060s. I don't think I would run any dual 8-pin cards in this, and you're not going to be able to install them in order unless you run longer cables. The included riser is just no bueno. Also, it only came with one of those two fan hubs, so right now it's running, what is this, 714 fans on a single SATA connector. Uh, I'm not comfortable with that either. But let me hook up power and uh, put in a bootable drive and let's see if we can make this thing go. I mean, it looks cool. <laughs> the fans actually move a pretty decent amount of air. I'm very impressed with that already. So I'm gonna see if it boots into MMPOS, just cause that's the only spare USB that I have. We'll give it a few minutes and we'll check on it. I don't know, I've tried Hem Hive and MMP. It's gotta be some issue with either the combination of cards I used, which is possible. Anytime you do over 12, these things do occasionally get a little unstable, but I cannot make this thing boot. I have no idea. So I guess I'll just, let let's talk about the case in a vacuum. The fans flow surprisingly well, but plan on budgeting for a real fan splitter. ATX power supplies only, unless you want to 3D print something for like a DPS 1200, which I think is a fantastic idea. And it's probably what I'll end up doing here. There's Modi High. Uh, the B250 Expert, that's a decent fit. I think these should have uh, shipped with H110 uh, motherboards. Those do support 13 GPUs, and they're a little bit more stable with 13, so that's dubious. 
I wish there was another support bracket underneath the risers that you could like zip tie or screw to. The blower cards are really solid, so are like the reference 6700 XTs. So like I would be happy if there were all these, I would be happy putting it on its side. This bar is very sturdy and the one beneath it actually has slots in it to uh, stabilize the cards, but like CMP 50s, these things are like Swiss cheese. So these would not be good in here. Um, I. I still think like CMP 30 HXs would be awesome in one of these things. Even 40 HXs maybe, but anything higher than that, that especially anything that requires dual eight pins, dude, you would have to spend so much money and power supplies just to get this thing going. So eh. what I'm gonna end up doing, I think is running one of those B75 motherboards with a server power supply and that's it. <laughs> I'm just gonna run 12 low power cards with a cheap motherboard and that's that. I don't know. I was able to fix the handle at least so I can move this thing around, but I don't think I'm going to buy another one of these. It's just not a great fit for my needs. It's it's big, but I don't know. If you're in a residential setting and you've got a bunch of cheap ATX power supplies anyway, and you get a bunch of low power cards and co uh, not Costa, sound is a concern. I think this is well worth considering because that motherboard CPU, whatever combo alone is worth almost what they're asking for this. And these are nice fans and there's a lot of them. So you are getting what you pay for. The case itself is made really well. The steel's nice and thick, but for somebody with as many GPUs as I have, just these were all just sitting, by the way. These weren't even in a rig. It's not a great fit for me. So I'm going to end up putting, I think, all the P106s in here, and I'm just going to plop it somewhere where it can lay on its side, and that's, that's going to be how it lives out its days. I did keep pushing through just to see this thing work. And I did test the board ahead of time, like I said, and it worked just fine. So I pulled out all the AMD stuff, as well as the two end cards here, which were just kind of tight. Boots just fine, however, of course, the Hive OS drive that I just wrote with the utility is registering the wrong rig name, so I can't get it into Hive. And it got an issue with this 3070, which is a little bit disconcerting. So I gotta figure that out, and then maybe we'll dip back into this. Well... I do actually have enough spare NVIDIA cards. <laughs> we'll see. I think uh, we should be good posting with 13 NVIDIA GPUs in this thing. I'm going to have to rewrite the Hive Drive, unfortunately. It is what it is. Um, once I've done that, though, we'll boot it up and I'll at least get it mining so we can see how the temperatures are. I'll put it on something a little more stiff as an algo. I'll put the lid on it and we'll see how it behaves. That's really the big thing I want to take away from this. Uh, after this, though, I think I'm going to be throwing all my 1060s and CMP, sorry, P106s in here as well. And I'm going to swap this out for a server power supply and this out for a smaller ATX unit. That's kind of how I ran that rig. This is Spec Me Daddy. And yeah, it's running on a 450 primary ATX and a 1200 DPS uh, FB. So platinum server power supply. And the thing is just rock solid. So. Uh, this is just too much good hardware to have uh, in a rig that I'm not going to leave like this. As you can see, this is still really stretched to get a 13 the card in there. If you don't care about the order that they show up uh, in the software, you can mount it fine. Um, but this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, um, 13 being the end here. And uh, I like it that way. That way I know where the issue is. Um, anyway, I don't know, guys. All right, well, a quick change to the config. And we are up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a flight sheet on it and let's see how she does with like Nexa or something kind of medium of the road power wise. All right, so we're up about 1500 watts. We are mining Nexa. And everything is gonna start heating up. So let's see. So we're drawing quite a bit of power. Uh, this is not an efficient tune at all on Nexa. And it is keeping up. Uh, one of the CMPs is kind of angled a weird way. So I think that's what's getting warm there with 74C. And that 1660 Super is just a crappy 1660 Super. But other than that, everything is keeping up, at least with the fan speeds that I have allocated. Definitely a good amount of uh, air and a good amount of heat coming out of that thing. I will say that the power supplies, I have the fans facing up. I have the hottest cards right here, so... I'm not sure if long term that's very good for the PSU. This 1000 gold is pretty warm. This 1200 platinum is just fine. But 
Yeah, I don't know. This, I think it would be fine if you were running conservative tunes on these things, but I still think you'd be smarter limiting yourself to cards with single eight pins just because of how many splitters you need. But at least it does work. And glad I pushed through to show you guys that at least it does work and you can get 13 GPUs in it. And it does work with 13 GPUs and it really isn't that big. But this is definitely a very niche specific case <laughs> where, well, case, pun intended, I, I'm not sure. I, like I said, I'm going to end up putting my P106s in here and just leaving it up at a cabin just because it is, it's pretty quiet when you have low power cards in it and it should be, I don't know, it should work pretty well for that. I think 1200 watts should be no problem with this thing at all. But would I buy it again? I'm not so sure. I just don't have a place for it.